Hello there, and welcome to the 1337th episode of the Automatch Heavyweight Championship of the World. I'm your host, AE, and of course, this is our prestigious game, Company of Heroes. And as you can see, it's not quite announced here yet anymore. It's all about other things like iPad. But indeed, the World Championship 2019 is coming. It starts next month. And two of the top five seeds for that tournament are playing for you in auto match right now. Loading into the game, we've got Love Nest, the Grand Championship Series 1 champion. And Grand Championship Series 2 runner-up. He is playing as the Oak Carve, and he's up against Von Aston, somebody that won their very first one versus one tournament this year. He's a hot property. He's no longer a young prospect. He's a proven commodity. But here we start on the east side of Kolodny Firma Summer, and uh, the great German playing as the Germans. Love Nest starts in the east. Unfortunately, the title cards are flipped. It's not my choice, YouTube. Don't complain. In the west side, we've got Von Aston loading in immediately, of course, with Heavy Cavalry Company. That is the most powerful commander for the most powerful um, faction in 1 versus 1 right now. So, Von Aston with a distinct advantage. He's on Holodny Firma Summer, which for my money is a USF map. Why is it a USF map? Well, we're using their very powerful infantry. First one coming out on the field right now. You can use these flanking routes and sight blockers um, to spring traps on your opponents. If you if this was up against Loveness Wehrmacht, even though he's the best Wehrmacht player of of all time, um, I would still I would say Von Aston has a Massive advantage, an insurmountable advantage almost, but Love Nest is on OKW. And as for my money, I'm going to say another GOAT comment for Love Nest. I would say he's the best Company Heroes 2 tournament player of all time due to his consistency in the last um, four years. From ESL to GCS2, this guy has been massively consistent. And as he's OKW, we are in for a fantastic match. Or that's my fingers are all crossed right now. I really do hope that's what we're in for. Love Nest always goes for this munitions point, and Kolodny Fermi always goes for this um, piece of barbed wire. We've got Von Aston using the rear echelons to cap up these points, and his second rifle to go down south. This is going to be his build order, of course, will be three rifles, Lieutenant M20 Stewart into a Pershing or a Sherman. That is his build order. I'm very interested in Love Nests, though, because, of course, OKW have seen changes. The operations he has available to him are special oper... Well, sorry, the doctrines available are special operations. <laughs> Luftwaffe and Leet Armoured. So, uh, interesting to see what we're going to see there. I'd love to see uh, the newly buffed Radio Silence. That would be cool, with the 1.2 speed buff. Sturm Pioneers doing what they do best, using their Sturm Gewehrs to Sturm into your face in a pioneering fashion. Elsewhere, breaking through the tree line, folks Grenadiers weren't able to finish off their cap. See this here? That's kind of neutral cover. The rifles don't want to pass over negative cover, so they think better of it. Meanwhile, in the north, rifles are forcing away the Sturm Pioneer. And the first Grenadier take the vantage point inside the garrison. This is a good infantry combat orientated battle so far. I'm loving it. I really am. You can just tell that the level of play, they're playing for a purpose as well. The winner of the World Championship 2019 gets 10,000 US dollars. Strong currency as well. And that's, uh, that's a heck ton of money. And the overall prize pool, of course, is 20,000. All the way down to 8th place. The 8th place and 7th place players will get Five hundred dollars, which is the same amount as Silder von Aston's um, friend won in the Elite One versus One showdown earlier this year. By the way, we've just got Fudge Grenadiers chilling on the cutoff here. Love Nest knows he's exposed there, so doesn't want to suffer a cutoff in the early game. Bit of a standoff as the rifles reposition, and he has been able to take this munitions from. Love Ness. Keep in mind, even though the red player is on the right side of the title card, he's fighting from the west into the east. And uh, he's actually flipped over right now because he's facing the west. It's it's very confusing. Oh, what's this? Snow Pioneers with version C1 already. Ooh, with a good cutting off there of the infantry's pass. And this is a really tricky retreat path for Von Aston. I don't know what he was quite thinking there. He has lost a few rifles as a result. Fortunately for him, Love Nest wasn't quite quick thinking enough with the Foch Grenadiers. Negative cover's going to kick in. 
fortunately for him, the Stern Pioneers were reloading at that very moment. Loveness pushing in further west, claiming territories. He's also taking this cutoff and gets it. Meanwhile, rear echelons in the church. Von Aston's being pushed heavily back. M20 is on its way, though, of course. Very obvious um, build order for United States forces. The meta of Company Heroes 2 is found very quickly this patch. It's almost as though USF weren't as bad as some players were saying. For example, Dev M. Um, and they were just kind of there or thereabouts. And they just needed one small change to suddenly make them overwhelmingly powerful. That just shows you... Grenade coming in. Runs into it, gets stunned. And now this rifle has to run the gauntlet. That's a tricky one. Very tricky indeed. Just check out this in the south. It's a bit, they not, haven't quite met each other yet. Don't forget, we don't get the fog of war. Oh, we can see him though. Shouldn't be able to really. It doesn't make any sense. Utility car. Unlocking the armored skirts immediately. Busting through walls. Going to be busting Love Nest balls because he has nothing. Oh, he's going for the flak off track, which did receive buffs in the recent patch. Just making sure I've got my headset the right way around. Pretty sure that was right side. Maybe I've just got it in the wrong side. It's fine. Gunning down the Stern Pioneers. Negative cover kicks in, but Faust threatens. Von Aston's just going to keep jabbing at him. This is like a boxer's jab, the M20. It does attritional damage consistently, and it keeps at range. And it's very mobile, so you become like a, a Muhammad Ali kind of lateral movement around the map, the peripherals. Just trying to jab at that eye and... I've been watching a lot of boxing, but I'm sure it helps my uh, coming here as analogies. MG34, possibly threatening the illusory Faust that doesn't exist, because often, you know, they creep up behind MGs in OKW play, but M20's at range, and he'd, he'd suffer one shot and still be able to get out of the way, so it's not much of an illusion anyway. This was going to be an M5 mine, of course, of the field defensives. Oh, sees it and immediately retreats. Doesn't want the pressure, doesn't want the pain, and gets the hell out of dodge. I'd love to know the etymology of that phrase. If you know the etymology of the phrase, get the hell out of dodge, please comment in the YouTube comment section below. That would be fam dabba 251 forward slash 17. Oh, rifle's in a tricky spot here. He's going to cut him off. He's got that... The handbrake on as well. I don't know if that does anything, but certainly get it pulverizing with that flat cannon. There he goes. He's going to run past that green cover, and that will save him. Do you see the health damage on the green cover? It saved him. Stone Pioneers. Launch their assault. Think better of it. I don't think they get superior repair times with the Mindsuit because they were already ludicrously fast. So Love Nest with um, Battle Group that indicates to me we'll be seeing and we'll be going straight for a Panzer IV. Faust goes in, M5 mine beckons there. He sees it, of course. With the uh, frying pan out. Oh, he could shoot it. He could shoot it. Oh, I, it was uh, cancelled anyway. It wasn't fully constructed. My bad. Oh, the flak off track's getting aggressive. Folks, Grandy is in tow. We do have a steward on the way, though. Is Love Nest too rusty to understand the timings of these things? That's what you get. You get your micro back reasonably fast, but it's the timings and the overall flow of battle that can take a little bit longer sometimes at the elite level. And that is what saves you. That said, looks like Love Nest has kept mobile with the flak off track and hasn't left himself vulnerable. Keep an eye on this... Um, Folks, Grenadier seems to be okay. Riquet and Verfa, five man now, of course. No um, camouflage until Veteran C1 and no retreat. No, no movements in camouflage. I think they had retreat. Can't remember if that change le got left in or not. I think it did. Soon see. I haven't played much OKW this patch myself. I've just played USF. And mostly against Wehrmacht, I must admit. That's pretty much been the matchup for me. It's been USF versus Wehrmacht in every single one of my Ultimax awesome games. And I've played like 10 of them, I'd say. Nice assault from Von Aston there. He's coming for the flank now on the MG, which is already itself retreating. Stuart giving harassing fire. Rakat and Verfa pushing up to protect the flak half track. Don't forget it's got 25 range now, so you'll see that. 
That's a big difference. I tell you what, that might be really good. Smoke is popped. And off-map smoke barrage. So we're going to 420 blaze it here on the Colodny Firma cutoff. And the Stuart looks like it's going to do some excellent damage. The 251 sees it and gets the kill. There's that narrow cone of the Raketenwerfer. Can't quite get the angle off. Von Aston reigns supreme. Moving through the centre. Must be said though, Loveness has had some excellent victory point controls uh, thus far. 4-6-5 to 4 one two. Oh, the gruesome twosome. Doing a double dash for victory. Forcing away the first grenade here, but trying to kill it before it can get away. Instead, turn their attention to this van. Good choice, Von Aston's light armor. This rifleman probably isn't going to push any further because uh, it's very low on health. I think he must have hit a mine there. Stuart now has a decent uh, decent interception on this first round here. Will he try and get the Faust off before he retreats? Yes, he will, because the Raketen Verve with an excellent shot, and the Faust finishes the job. Nice assault by Loveness. Has. Nice ambush. Excellent game feel, knowledge, and execution of that tactic. Loveness now assembling the folks Grenadiers with the MG34. He has, however, left his... Um, ooh, cancels the spare. Loses a small amount of fuel there. And I mean small amount. We're talking 15, but every little counts. Oh, M20 uses the bonus speed of the road. And there, of course, the retreat. I did know that. I remember that they, they pointed out that they had indeed reverted that. But, uh, lack of confidence. And the folks currently certainly have a lack of confidence in life at the moment, considering they're dead. Nice win for Von Aston as he keeps the pressure up. But um, it must be noted, Lovnest is certainly still in this game in a big way. Keep in mind that he'll reconnect the fuel with that munitions. And he's going to get the cutoff back very soon as well. Victory points. Keep an eye on them. Lovnest has temporarily had a triple cap. M20 with 12 kills. Keeping up the pressure. Stern Pioneers pushing up the rear. New Schwerpanzer Schlepper in position. But Lovnest is on the assault. I think he'd be probably safe not forming. Yes, he's going to go for the Schwerpanzer headquarters. Lovnest is a mad bastard. No, it's his calculated decision, as always. And he's right to do what he's doing. Rangers standing by. They've got the Thompsons. They've got Veteran C1 already. Medium cover and green cover offered by the Garrison Sturm. Pioneers looking for an angle. We do now have the 50 cal out. M20 survives, still with 12 kills. 50 cal sets up in a very unhelpful direction. And orientation, good shot by the Raketen Werfer. Great stuff. And uh, Von, A Von Aston's lost both light vehicles to the Raketen Werfer now. Loveness showing that extra range really does help. Quick pack up time, quick aim to fire as well. Don't forget for the Raketen Verfus, so it's still a valuable asset. Stern Pioneers are a very valuable asset at three stars of veterancy, and he's very, very happy to keep them alive. Those superior repair times, even more so now with veterancy too. Let's check on the base. He's only got the one kill. Don't forget it was a Faust, sorry. But it was very much the Raket and Verfa that helped kill the Stuart. It wasn't the killing blow, but he's certainly part of it. Radio silence is a possibility. Ooh, went very high at the end there. Possibility. Oversol Darton on the way, of course. You do not need to... Uh, oh, he's got Panzer Autovization. Um, but he didn't need it anyway. And that's why the Oversoul Dot are now on the battlefield. Oh, just as the uh, flat cannon kicks in. I think Lovenest almost turtled up a little bit whilst he made sure the Schwer was fully set up. Got the STG infrareds on the way. Oversoul Dot lose a very costly Soldat in there. 40 manpower. I, I, 
AC. Lieutenant pushing into position, taking advantage of the Focus Grenadiers, but on the move they drop a model and the Focus Grenadiers hold strong. 50 cal though, very well positioned by Von Aston to keep up the pressure. What a game we're watching. 14 and a half minutes in now, showing no signs of stopping its frenzied pace. This game is a very good one indeed. It's truly a blessing to watch the best players compete. It's an art form in its own right. Much like early 20th century jazz or um, mid-90s professional wrestling. That's ground is just positioning and causing the 50 cal to reposition. Yep, of course. AE is uh, right. He needs to trust himself. I get a little bit rusty with my casting as I'm not in my heyday of playing and casting this game. But, uh, you know, I've got that residual competence. It still holds true. This uh, garrison has been staunchly used by both competitors throughout this battle. And it always is. I I'd say... For my money, that, that's the most important building on Holodny Firma. Because this church is very much offset by this, and neither are close enough to the cutoff, but this is very close to the munitions. And so it's always a point of hot contention. Loveness still keeping up the victory point control. He's also going for a cheeky ambush here, waiting for this 50 cal to re-emerge. Meanwhile, he's having to battle with the four-man folks around here. Oh, he's lost the MG... 34 there. The Obers and the Fultz is more than enough to push them away. No grenades. Maybe he's pretending he has. Or maybe he's just going for the cap. Still going to be Pershing versus Command Panther, even in the new patch. Not much has changed. It just takes a little while. No, it doesn't take much longer to get there at all. Here we go. First Grenadier is going searching. Let's reveal the Fog of War there. Keep a little eye on this. That's fine. Surprise, bitch. Very quick reactions by Von Aston. He must have that hot keyed. And he must have incredible reflexes. That was very, very quick indeed. Great that I get to showcase this kind of stuff. I love it. M5 mine not detonated there. MG34 with a really good uh, cone of fire. If he has vision, he'd even be able to stop people advancing through there. Major, of course, out now. And uh, Sherman is on the way. Von Aston must have been cut off from his fuel for a decent portion of the battle. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. <laughs> Meanwhile, Obers push up. Disappointing amount of kills on those guys. Three only. Oh, awful OKW voice acting there. American Star, 300 points on the line. Sounds like a, and a German Jar Jar Binks. Grenade tossed in. Loveness shows his rust with that uh, having to hard retreat. Unless he was preoccupied, which I wouldn't say he was, considering the Obers were behind the green cover. He's not sure if uh, grenades were teched. And the reason he isn't is because he, he hasn't remembered that, of course, the Rangers have the grenade from the get-go. So, um, Loveness showing a little bit of rust there again. And you can only get that through game time. you got to forget, Von Aston's time out of the game was uh, a month this year. Loveness had like a year out of the game. So, although he has the uh, micro and the tactical decision making in terms of manoeuvring, it's those unit abilities and... Simple dodge by Von Aston. Sherman doing a little bit of a Tokyo Drift there. GoldenEye style, if you remember the film where the uh, T-95 tank is, or um, well, the Chinese tank, I can't remember which one it is. It's literally drifting around the streets of London. I've probably got both the city and the type of tank wrong there. But it was in GoldenEye and they made it drift, they showed you how they did it. Um, on this cool video on the Tank Museum's channel, I believe it was. They literally just threw a bunch of uh, oil and lubricant on the floor. 
and it busts its tracks or something trying to get around it. Panzer IV on the field. I'm so glad they didn't just go for the heavy tank equivalents. Um, I'm so glad we're seeing like an escalation. That is the balance patch working, I suppose. Just enough fuel in forcing them to go tier 4 to delay the heavy tanks. Kind of works, I guess. There's the first grenadier suffering under a mine. Von Assen really starting to assert his position. Lumnes destroys his own cover points there with some dodgy driving if I've ever seen some. Pintle mount upgrading. Panzer four. Oh, nice retreat by Von Asten. Hearing it through the fog of war and makes a tactical decision to surrender his position. A-S-A-F-P. Added the F in there for drama. ISG on the way. Love Nest is feeling... Ah, he's used Radio Silence, by the way, to get a little bit of uh, an operational incision there. And he's using it to push the Rakenver for deep within enemy territory. Sherman repositions. We've got the anti-tank rifle grenade threatening. Misses the shot with the Sherman. Love Nest destroys more green cover. He really doesn't want any tactical advantage in the late game, it seems. Rangers push in. Obvious necessary retreat. Got an M1 on the field. I don't need to show you that. I don't know why I double clicked. Sherman and 50 cal set up. Repositioning to keep the munitions and to keep this victory point importantly. Rakettenwerfer can't really um, sneak up and take the victory point anymore. It's got to be more careful. It could get there and then go in cloak of course and have a... You know, a nice cap, but uh, it's not going to do that. 50 cal wise to get out of there. Rangers would be wise to do the same. 17 kills on those bad boys. Veteran C3. So increased accuracy, meaning overall better DPS. Nice positioning of the MG34 again. Love Nest best MG positioner in the game's history. Co2. In particular, I won't speak for Co1 because I know Co1 was a lot more MG positioning orientated, and a lot of people played that game that never played Come Heroes 2. But I've never seen anybody better in Co2. I myself played him once, and uh, I, tr I tried my best, of course, and it was absolutely futile. When I play top players, I try and last past 15 minutes. That's my metric if I've done well or not. I couldn't get past like say seven with Love Nest. Just MG was everywhere you didn't expect it to be. And it was always where he wanted it to be. And that's uh, exactly where you wouldn't. Poor turret traverse there for the Panzer IV. That's unfortunate. There must have been a trailing model. Rear echelons forced away. Another Raketenwerfer makes its way onto the field. Looks like we're going for support weapon orientated play. Loveness just uh, looking to keep his position. Of course, smoke out the center should he get into a victory point situation. Just all quiet on the northern front. The four chilling out. Relaxing out. Relaxing all cool. When a bunch of Yanks that were up to no good started making trouble in Holodny Firma. He got one little fight. Loveness got scared. Pulled him back to base for repairs. Ha 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 ha. Verfus positioning. Trying to get that sneaky... Uh... Oh, he's going to push forward, is he? Let's get on his... Right, lads, there he is. Where's that 25 range? Not quite there. That's for certain. Ooh, 50 cal's looking low. Oh, there you go. He gets him. Meanwhile, in the centre. Von Aston's on the assault. Let's take Fog of War back off. Obus looking to get more than four kills. This IR or STGs really haven't been doing the work this game. M1 positions. Two of them, don't forget. Obus in a tricky spot. Both M1 shots miss. 50 cal's been um, dispossessed. Looking to be repossessed shortly. Bazooka fire goes in. Radio silence was engaged, by the way. It takes the 50 cal back. Panzer four positions. Raketenwerfer's weight 
Oh, nearly take out the Sherman. One more shot would have done it. Couldn't quite get them off. This, by the way, is for a triple cap if you can get it off. Setting up the MG34 to keep the second 50 cal in a tricky predicament. Just trying to get my headset jack in. My headset's been broken for two weeks now. It's very frustrating. I have to wobble the jack into a, an explicit position. Yeah. Fun times. I love it when expensive PC equipment breaks. I also spilt a beer on my uh, Black Widow Chroma keyboard, and that's kaput. So yeah, I'm having a good few weeks. <laughs> uh, at least it wasn't the PC. Von Aston valiantly tries to save the South victory point from a situation critical. Because he only has 166 victory points remaining. I should become a... If there's a company Eris 3, I would, should be the announcer. But in my sleepy, been working all day as an accountant voice, you know. Situation critical. You should probably cap some VPs, Commander. <laughs> Sign me up, Relic. Ouch. Mine detonated. That was fortunate for uh, Lieber's Nest. And you got to hand it to Love Nest. With all that rust, he's still able to take it to one of the top players in the game. Top five for certain. A tournament winner this year. With a year out of the game almost. I'd say about nine months probably. Here comes the Command Panther at a reasonable time. 25 minutes. It's no longer a bullshit calling vehicle. We can finally savour it for the badass it is. As it absolutely annihilates everything in front of it. Goes for the assassination attempt with the Panzer IV. One more shot. Here it comes. Boof. That's the noise it makes. It is indeed a boof. Sherman well and truly destroyed. Panther's now going to rush in and try and take out the ambulance, perhaps. Ambulance repositions. <laughs> Meanwhile, 50 cal versus uh, Stone Pioneer. There can be only one winner. He goes for the ambulance, but uh, it's all the way around the pizza base. Like a Domino's delivery van, it's gone back for extra slices. And one of Bazooka thwart the advance of the Panther. And... Uh, Panzer IV. I'm going to have to go and get some meaty repairs. What a shot that was from the M1. I was not expecting that. He, of course, take, took aim, increasing division range, and became a sniper all the way down the map. Barely caught that on camera because I just wasn't expecting it, and neither was Loveness. So, Von Aston still in this, ladies and gentlemen. Just as AE is about to wrap this one up, you can never say never when Von Aston is on the field because this guy is a fierce competitor and whilst uh, breath remains so will he Obus still on four kills very disappointing performance no uh, Knight's Cross with seven oak leaves a small laurel wreath and uh, a life-size depiction of Hitler's head for them. Panther's got its one vehicle kill. Mission accomplished. Von Aston stays with that victory point. Oh, nice ISG round there. That was maximum health damage. I'd get out of there if I was Von Aston. He's going to keep the Rangers in battle because he needs to. Because he's about to dip into double digit figures. Mission accomplished in the north for the Dutchman. Panther comes to be a breakthrough unit. It needs to be. Destroys the cover. And uh, tries to harass the infantry. Damages the engine with the anti-tank rifle grenade. Spotted a little bit of health damage there. It was right to exploit. Here come the M1s. But uh, he's not going to be able to take advantage because he needs the line of sight. Meanwhile, Fultz Grandy is forced away here. ISG shot again! Some great shots dropping in from the infantry support gun. Already six kills, but some really good ones recently. Um, Von Asten is going to have to go south. Good thing about Holodny Vermit. It's well spread north to south, so you can uh, keep the victory point pressure up. Uh, despite not controlling the centre, if you're uh, tenacious enough. Done a lot of health damage this game. Better penetration. 
Accuracy, actually, for the American AT gun. And then rate of fire vet 3. Interesting. Interesting. Not like the uh, Soviets. I probably should have known that. Oh, well. Oh, he uses phosphorus there. Cheeky. Very cheeky. Manger takes a major vantage point in the centre and capping the uh, centre. This is hype for Von Aston. It's been a while. He's got 84 victory points remaining. Of course, he is saving for the Sherman. Going to get that 600 manpower. And he's going to need that to... Uh... Hey, uh, I'm just casting the game at the moment. Is it quick? What did you want? Okay, I'll ring you back in a bit. No problem. See ya. Bye-bye. And we're back in the war. Rangers, uh, two-thirds of the way through the capping point. Um, the Pershing is now a thing, apparently. And Von Assen all of a sudden has three victory points. He does use a bit of radio silence, 40 munitions, to cap there and get the extra speed boost he's so sorely wanted and needed. Pershing makes its way into the center. Is this thing going to become the omnipotent, omnipresent wiping machine Von Essen so dearly needs it to be? No. No, it's not. It's that kind of Pershing. The missing kind. Von Ness would do well to retreat here. Sustaining a lot of health damage. He's trying to get his uh, Panther in position, so he buys time. But the Pershing does things with that. Fortunately, got through the gap in the rocks just in time. And Loveness, by the way, is now reinstating... That's right, reinstating his triple cap. He's also got a Raket and Werfer in the south. Should um, Von Ass try and repeat the same steps? Oh, he's going to try and keep this Pershing. Yes. Isn't able to decrew the weapon in time. And big shot from the Panther, although it is an ambush. First M1 hits the garrison. And reveals his position. It was an attack round that wasn't cancelled. Second shot. Again, just continually hits that garrison. Probably the wrong prioritization of target there. And carries on doing the same. Meanwhile, in the center, we've had more Blendkorfer. That's what got thrown earlier. But I just... I was... Oh! Nice shot there. And good follow-up from the Panther lieutenant and wasn't um, killed something was with okay it looked like somebody died but they didn't maybe i'd have to uh, watch that one back on youtube to fully understand what exactly what happened then you have to count the models or not be in the middle of a, a two-hour mega cast with when von austin makes the ultimate comeback it does have a vet three rear echelon which is going to be very beneficial in this situation however the Double cap is against him, and there's a new Panzer IV on the field, which is going to give Loveness the mobility he needs to maintain this two victory point advantage and see out the game. Quickly, they need to repair. They need to get in there as soon as humanly possible because the Pershing needs targets and needs to do work. It's barely done anything so far. I know he's got the four kills, but uh, he needed wipes, quite frankly. And the damage AOE profile has been a trade off for less of the former. And uh, more of the latter. And speaking of the latter, Von Aston is now <laughs> the, the late Von Aston. Rest in peace, because Lovenest is your winner. Let us check the stats. I think that was a tasty game. I'm glad I casted that one. Um, pretty decent KD for um, Lovenest. Von Aston wasn't too shabby, but certainly... God, is that a lot of friendly kills or something? Um, team killer, yeah. He killed himself with a Sherman. <laughs> nice one. Uh, um, what else can we show you? Oh, yes, army value. Of course, Love Nest starts ahead. But you show that Zav Von Aston had a fantastic mid-game. He just wasn't able to fully take advantage. And uh, Love Nest just kept his, his control. Um, that does not... Oh, yeah, I know how to do it. It's fine. I can switch between them. Just checking units lost here. It was a very high preservation game. I think. Uh, yeah, he lost one rifleman and the major. And two vehicle crews, of course. Um, but then tank-wise, 
But I was thinking more for Loveness. Let me do the Relic Shuffle. Yeah, look at that. Only one Foch Grenadier and a D crew. Holy crap, that's good preservation. That's what won him the game, in my opinion. He was just steady. Um, he wasn't exactly risk averse, but and he was aggressive when he needed to be, you know. He was a very steady performer in that game for my money. Let's just go to the points held graph to show just the ebb and flow there. But then Loveness, despite, you know, you can just see the army value is just steady. He didn't lose too much. Von Aston made a loss at uh, the 25 minute. I think that was the Sherman going down, um, maybe. Uh, points held. Then Loveness just didn't cede control even slightly. Um, his uh, units just... Look at that. When you, when you don't lose squads, your your backline infantry dominates the uh, title cards. Absolutely. Let's check timings now and just um, remind ourselves of the build. It was three Foch Grenadiers into MG34 into Flakhoff track, which was not exactly a superstar. And Obus, as the balance patch designers um, wanted. So three folks into Obus. Raketenwerfer, uh, package for the Obus. Uh, another folks around here must have had a loss there. That was the one loss we saw. He converts his Schwer after losing the first one into... Did he lose an Obus? I didn't see. No? Did he end with... Oh, I'm confused it did. Um, okay. No, 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 I'm an idiot. Sorry, yeah, I've already been past that and then I went back to it. Then Panzer IV, then ISG back tech, then Raketenwerfer back tech, and then Panther. It's just such a good combined army. He did lose the Panzer IV and he rebuilt it. Let's check. At, see what I mean? The Relic Shuffle. It thinks it's uh, already was on Von Essen, but it, I can assure you it wasn't. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yeah, I'm an idiot. So I could have looked at both of them on the same screen. My bad. Okay, let's go to the top. Rifle, 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 lieutenants, uh, we know all this, M20, we know all this, we know all this shit. Stuart, Rangers, 50 cal, 50 cal, Major, and then it was called Sherman, and then Captain Backtech into M1, uh, and then another M1 after getting the Browning for the Captain, and then Pershing. So, I don't think he lacked composition there. I just genuinely think it was Loveness with the tactical wins, getting the kills when he needed to, giving him that strategic dominance of the victory points that never let up, in all honesty. So, great game from the German. Um, and, you know, he, he looks on form already for my money, beating Von Aston like that. It was, uh, wasn't was completely dominant. It wasn't like... Um, but it was authoritative victory there. And uh, thank you, one and all, for watching. And I'll see you real soon. Cheers and goodbye.